Once upon a time, a monk was passing by a village. He saw that some men was working with stone. Monk went to a man working there and said, "What is being made here?" He replied angrily, "Do you not see that I am cutting stones?" Again monk said, "Yes, I can see that, but I am asking what I being made here." He shouted, "I don't know. I am dying here working and you are worried about what will be made here. Leave." Listening to this, monk moved forward and went to another man working there and asked, "What will be made here?" Laborer replied, I am working for money. I will get hundred rupees as daily wages. That what only matter to me. I have no idea what is being made here. Monk moved forward again. He saw another man working there. Monk went to him and asked, "What is being made here?" But he smiled and replied, "Temple." Monk asked. You look so happy don't you feel tired working here on such hot day man replied no i don't feel tired there is no big temple in this village and because of that people of this village had to go to another village to celebrate i also belong to this village when i hit stone with a chisel I hear melodious music in the sound of that heat of chisel. I feel bliss. After few days when temple construction will be completed and ready to be worshiped, fair will be held and people of this village will be able to come here for singing prayers. When I keep thinking about all this how much happiness will it bring to people in village coming here then all this work doesn't feel like work to me i feel like i am always having fun i sleep at night with imagination of temple and wake up in the morning and work here to crave fillers for the temple sometimes i start singing bhajans while working I have never enjoyed working so much in my life. Monk smiled and left thinking. This is the secret of life, happy life. It just difference of thinking and opinion only. Someone is considering work as burden and spent whole life fretting and wailing while someone is enjoying life by considering work as fun and pleasure.